A routine that's repeated across the country by thousands of policemen and women every day. But for these Hard Bay police officers, preparing for a night shift has a somewhat different meaning now. Constables Pindiwe Nikane and partner Mandisa Nduku were shot at point-blank range and left to die on a Friday night shift a fortnight ago. The deaths of the two are still fresh in the minds of their colleagues. Ah, it is difficult. It is difficult emotionally. Especially now where we're going to the wards we are going to now. It is difficult. But they must still patrol the same street where Nikane and Nduku attended their last call out that fateful night. During the course of a normal shift, these officers could be called to housebreakings, armed robberies and murders. But it's domestic disputes, many fueled by alcohol, that rank amongst the more dangerous call-outs. Ah, it is dangerous. It is dangerous, especially when you attend the complaint. You must be careful because you don't know. Maybe it's a false complaint or what. Every day they put their lives on the line but at times, it can seem like a thankless task. I would say I am proud to be a police officer, but there's certain things that sometimes bring you down, you understand? Like some complaints you try to resolve, but it's difficult. And people always say the police is wrong. Everything you do is wrong. When you're trying to do the right thing, you understand? It's been just over two weeks since the two Hart Bay police constables were murdered. Their deaths have left a gaping hole at the station in which they served. Colleagues say it's like losing family members. But even while they mourn, they believe the fight against crime must continue. Kieran Burke, Imizamu Yetu, Cape Town.